the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Dokas Ibeni. I'm from Oyibo region, Liver State, Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I want to thank God for the visitation and the healing of God upon my life. During the time of our the crusade in Abuja, when the fifty day when our father in the Lord prayed, he prayed and he mentioned about issue of ulcer. And I claim it because I have been seeking from the ulcer for more than two two years. And after the prayer, when I was going to house, the next day, the sixth day, I received my healing. From then to today, I can eat anything I like and I will not have any problem. May the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. From then, she never more, you will not have it again. Also, of two years, vanished away. Let's listen to the next testifier. Those on social media, please get ready. Church, praise the Lord. I'm a serving cop in River State. Actually, because of my PPA that I, I came back late. So I always experience this gastric ulcer that always disturbed me in my stomach because of eating late almost every time. But today, because our daddy actually prayed for those with ulcer first time, Father, I am healed in Jesus' name. We pray. Ulcer go forever. Praise the Lord. Bring and praise the Lord. My name is Faithful from Overcomers District, Chumukushi. Brethren, praise the Lord. I'm just so happy because I came to this place very late. And when I came, I told the Lord that I'm not going to leave this place without getting my healing. I, though I'm not sick or I was not having any pain anywhere, but I, this is just what I told God that I cannot come to showers of blessing and I will not get my blessing without leaving this premises. That was what I told God when I entered this place. And when the man of God was praying, he just, he was, he, he was mentioning things and he was like any incurable disease in you, any act like, um, um, he mentioned a lot of things, also, I was, I don't have any of that. But I raised my hands up. And after he finished praying, I, I, I got the sharp pain on my stomach, which has never happened before. Though I don't know what it is, but I know that I am healed from any unknown diseases that have been in my body. Praise the Lord! Unknown diseases vanished away. Praise the Lord! Please, let's see from... Overflow one. Can Praise we listen to God. testimony, please? Praise God. Can I speak? Overflow one. That is adult auditorium. Please present them. Let's listen to them. From social media, can we listen to? Or from other locations, yes, well, other cities. Yes, we have several testimonies that we have coming in from social media. Uh, but before we read out the ones we have on Facebook and YouTube and others, we want to take these live testimonies of the power of God coming from beneath. We are going to go to Bindi live, and after that, we are going to take another testimony from Sister Christine, who has been watching from home and is having a testimony. Right now, we are going to Bindi for a live testimony. Bindi and Dome State, Nigeria, live.
Alright, while we are still trying to solve the audio challenge from that center, we want to go to the live testimony from Sister Christina, who is watching from home. Sister Christy is coming up live now. Alright, um, while we are still waiting to get that audio, also the testimony from Sister Christy, we have this one that just came in from, from Daniel, from social media. But Daniel says, join me to celebrate and bless God. After the prayer of the man of God tonight, I've been suffering chest pain, ulcer, weakness of the body, and at the final amen, everything disappeared. Praise the Lord. I have this also coming from STJ, Echelani, who says, I just received my healing now. I was watching online, but I've been having so much pains in my stomach. But as the GS came up and started praying for the sea, I placed my, my, my phone on my stomach and immediately I got my healing. Praise the Lord. We have this coming up before we hand over to the state of Asia from YouTube that says, uh, from Olufumilayo Ojo, I received my miracles now. A big boy that has been on me just melted down after the prayers of the man of God. Praise the Lord. And right now, we hand over to the state of Asia while we expect more testimonies coming from the social media. Let's listen to the next person now. My brother, go on. Praise the Lord. My name is Moses Utamabari. I'm not a member of this church. I was invited by someone. I had my miracle while the pastor was preaching. And he talks about grace. That if you go to the bank and you say you have grace, that they will not give you money. If you go to the market, they will not give you food stuff. Yesterday, I was driving to Weary. I almost fainted on my way. I was having this unusual pain on my chest and I started experiencing it for the first time yesterday. I came back, I told my wife it was that bad. I told my madam, she said that is a sign of ulcer. But to the glory of God, as the pastor was preaching, I said I will receive my healing by the grace of God. I'm standing here to testify to the glory of God that the pain has disappeared. I have no such pain any longer. I give glory to God in Jesus' name. Who has done it? The next person. Praise the Lord. My name is William Uche. And I'm from Umuxi. Umuxi, group of district. I come to testify what the Lord has done in my life this night. Because since I got back from United Kingdom, I have no job. Um, someone just offered me a commercial bank job as a manager, so I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. He's testifying to the goodness of God in his life that job was offered to him. We praise God for him. Let's listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Peace Israel. I'm from Kala District, Port Harcourt Region. I've been having chest pain since when I was in GS3. And this pain was, is so severe that anytime it comes, like if I put my hand here, it's as if there's a hole on my chest. And during that um, 10,000 youth rally, I, when we were running, I was like, this chest pain, let it not come, because I don't have strength to endure it. When I was surprised when I got to the house, the chest pain was not there. I got my healing. Praise the Lord. The chest pain, all oh, that she felt before as she participated in the 10,000 rally for this program, the Lord took it away. Praise the Lord. our fathers cannot do he has done it for us 
Let's listen to the next person, please. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for my life and for my family. There is this, there is this of my uncle that is wicked. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Actually, her problem started last year when she stepped on something in her village and then her legs swole, got swollen. She had pida edema with a, a kind of varicose ulcer and some rashes on her legs. She could not walk. She had pain. But she came to this crusade after the prayer of the man of God, the swelling disappeared and now she could walk. Can you mark your step on your leg? So she's now free. Praise the Lord. Free. Amen. God bless you. Can we listen to those from other locations or social media for now? Do you know that God is still taking care of those big name diseases? This person said, a condition known as hyperprolactinemia, which is nipple discharge. After the prayer of the man of God tonight, tonight, right now, that condition disappeared. I thought somebody was going to shout hallelujah. And this one also, also coming in from Anita Ann of Montessin says, God healed me of an object that's been moving in my throat. At the last global crusade, I got my healing, and up till now, it has remained permanent. Praise the Lord. And so I have this one also coming from, uh, from online as well. It says that, praise the Lord, last month, I had this heart problem, and the, the, at the crusade, I came and uh, I received my healing, although I've gone to the hospital to complain, but right there in the hospital, as I got my healing, the doctor discharged me, and from that day, my heart beat became normal. Praise the Lord. And let's take this one before we move over. Do you remember? that during the last crusade, the adverts told us that jobs will come, and that is exactly what happened. This person said that he made a prayer request to God to get a job, and after that crusade, immediately, he was called upon to resume the job, and right now, he is working in Abuja, and is worshiping at Iba Life, Katampe in Abuja. Praise the Lord. And right now, we want to uh, take a live testimony coming from, from Benin. Benin and those states live. settled from that uh, region. listen to live testimony from here. Break 
to praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I am saved. My name is Rose Isaac from Audley Road District. I want to bless the name of the Lord who has used a pastor to do wonders in my life tonight. Just this afternoon, though this toothache has been disturbing me, each time it comes, it goes. And this afternoon, it came up again. I said, yes, you came at the right time. Today is the end of you. I tell you, even as I was coming, I was holding the teeth with one of my, uh, two of my fingers. I was holding it in, because of the pains. I, 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 I just encouraged myself. As I got here, while, while a, a pastor was praying for the souls, the new souls, the new convert, it was really not really our own time to be prayed for. But he was praying for those souls. I said, the moment he was done with that prayer, I noticed that the pains just disappeared. I said, oh, glory be to God. So, of a truth, as I said, this crusade is mine. The Lord really answered it and did it for me. That is why I said, I will not eat the glory of God. I will come and testify. Brethren, praise the living God. A miracle came before when she expected it. While you are waiting, your miracles are coming. The next person now. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Alabi Olayemi. I'm from New Le How District, uh, Pipeline Old District, Port Harcourt Region, Nigeria. I thank God for the goodness of God in my life. I thank God because it's like as if our GS came because of me. You no, know, for some uh, months, last month, the incident happened unto me, sort like an affliction. The thing came. Sometimes I just woke up in the night, I discovered that I couldn't breathe well as I was supposed to breathe. Then it's as if the thing wants to switch, it's as if my BP is going up and down, and it's as if uh, 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 I, the, the breathing wants to see. Then I tapped my husband in the night and said, let's pray. We started praying, we started praying, and by the grace of God, God took over. So the thing stays for some time, and it came up again. Even this uh, Bible study we had uh, on Monday, anytime something like that happened, I, because I will sit beside him, I will tap him, he will hold my hand. And we started, even from that seat, we started praying. That Bible study, we started praying. It's as if, sometimes when the thing also came, it's as if uh, I'm breathing forcefully. So I say, God, you are going to take this thing away. But by the grace of God, he's working in uh, another cluster. I'm, and uh, I'm also working in another cluster very far. I also, I was with my children. Devil was suggesting to me and say, you are only with your children. Your husband is not here. Do you think uh, something will not happen today? I said, there is nothing that is going to happen to me today. I mean, Emmanuel Grant. But by the grace of God, since I sat there, I see that it was, my breathing was normal as it's supposed to be as I was breathing before, there was nothing happened to me. Anytime the same want to come, it will pinch me as if needle is pinching me under my leg. And I will feel that as if something sees in my heart. But by the grace of God, I thank God, I give glory unto the name of the Lord, who has done this thing for me. Everything is all right. I'm okay by the grace of God. Praise the Lord! I pray the God that has done this, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Because devil has, he thought he has, he, he doesn't know that he has, he has really lost the battle in my life. May his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Permanent healing, you are free. The Lord. My name is Daniel Letua. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I'm here to testify for what God did to, for me today. I had ulcer. 
in 2019, breaking 2020 December. At, at long, at, at long, my heart chest pain, so I could not bend down like this. Every time I bend down, it's as if my chest also fall out. But today, after the prayer of the man of God, God has delivered me. Now I can bend. I can stretch my body. Praise the Lord. Also God. He can do anything he wants to do now. about two months now it was it started as a menstrual pain but after my menses the pain continued like about two months now I've been feeling that menstrual pain I said to myself I said God I can't come to this crusade today and I still go back with that menstrual pain I can't I would like be suffering from pain like that today I'll be seeing daddy face to face I must not go back with any pain today so after daddy prayed he said you should touch wherever I is paining you I touch my stomach and I just see something just caught from my stomach keep and it's been just stopped. And I was very happy. God has done so much for me. May his name be I insulted in Jesus' name. All praise God. Let's listen to the next person. Social media where you are read, let us know. Praise the Lord. My name is Deborah Israel. I'm from Alcomon District, Woji Group, Port Harcourt, River State. I'm here, I'm here to testify of how the Lord gave me genuine salvation from relieving me from the spirit of guilt. Anytime I feel like, anytime I try praying, I feel like I'm the worst sinner, as God can never ever forgive me. But through the prayer of the man of God this evening, I felt relieved. Praise the Lord. Condemnation, get gone. She is saved now, free from sin. Go and live the new life. <laughs> Jesus. My name is Sister Baripo and Progress Ezekiel. I'm from New Jerusalem District in Pipeline Old Group of Districts. I want to bless God for what did for me. It was last week Sunday, that's upper week. After the service, my pastor asked the women in the church to wait behind. And then she asked for people to accompany her to Oimi Market on Wednesday for publicity. And Nobody was willing to go. I was like, ah, can she go alone? She needs assistance. And I told her I'll go with her. So that Wednesday, we agreed to meet. From White House, we, we you know, started publicizing, went to Oimi, down to um, um, a little one junction. And I told her that I was going to use the mic because last month, I went to somewhere, and on my way coming back, I dislocated my hand. So my right hand, I couldn't use properly. I couldn't even twist it. But that very day, you know, after I saw the way she was holding the, the PA system, I decided to assist her, but then I used my left hand. And I noticed after a few days that after that Wednesday, after the publicity, the pain disappeared. I was able to use my hand. I can twist it. So I say, may God's name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Obedience brings blessing. Publicity bringing blessing to those who publicize. Let's listen to the next person now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Chineye Okoro. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I'm from Eastern Gate District, Umokoro O Group. I want to testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life. It was the last program at Abuja. I was having 
Osa for 13, uh, 2000, since 2013 now. I've been having Osa. And it was very severe that sometimes I'll be walking on the way just as if I'm falling. And sometimes my chest will, will be boiling like the pain is very severe. But I thank God after the prayer of the man of God that last month program, I went home and I, I couldn't even come to church that day. But I was, at, I, was, I was at home. I was watching it through YouTube because how, of how weak I was. But I noticed a week later, I was more hungry till around 8 before I eat food. And I thank God it did, the ulcer did not occur up to now. Praise the Lord. It will never occur again. Seven to eight years also disappear. <laughs> Let's give thanks to social media and to other locations all over the world. Yes, from social Wait. media, the showers of blessing seem to be endless as we are having these testimonies from Facebook right now. Evacute of Bassi has just had an ulcer yield. We have this also from the Dua Fidelity from Facebook also. High blood pressure with all its symptoms completely disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. Also, the showers on social media, healing from mouth sore, from malaria, from typhoid, coming from Ingidi, that land. We also have this also, still from social media. This brother, Basi Oyeneho, this person has been having severe back pain. But after the prayer of the man of God, the back pain disappeared. Also, the showers on social media, Lincoln's clothing says that he has just received healing from pie after the prayer of the man of God. Also, from social media, we have this coming from Francis Biden. He says that he's been having severe pains on his right thumb. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, the pain disappeared. And we have this ulcer of 10 years. 10 years. And after the prayer of the man of God, ulcer of 10 years disappeared. Praise the Lord. And so we have this one coming also from social media that says that this person has been having pain all over his body. His name is Musa Ejabula. And um, after the prayer of the man of God, as the prayer was going, he placed his hand on his body, and at the end of the prayer, the pains completely disappeared. This is coming all the way from Bayelsa State, Brass region. It says that the name of this person is Karina. They testify of her son, who ran away from home with a huge amount of money. And this boy returned, and after he returned, he's been afflicted with a faulting power because he was forced to take a drink in his boss's house. And when he came back home, he started having these troubles in his dreams of affairs with people. But on the first day of the last month we saved, Miraculously, he received the miracle of salvation. And after he gave his life to Christ, all of those afflictions disappeared. Praise the Lord. And this is coming from Blessing Ogunube Kamaliza from Facebook. This person said that a baby's right arm suffered fracture during birth. But after the prayer of the man of God, that fractured hand was healed. Praise the Lord. The showers of blessing still falling from places to places. And this one is coming from Jen in Maribel. Joshua Jen in Maribel. He said that this afternoon, 
I logged into the program. My manager messaged me that I was approved for a promotion with a 32% increase in my salary. Even my manager mentioned it that this is a great one. That is just because they logged in to connect to the program. Wherever you are on social media, the showers are still falling. And for now, we are going to hand over back to the state overseer before we head for more from social media. You can bear witness with me that today is the barrier of all sicknesses. You will never see them again. For those who are going, remain. We soon start distributing what we call communique that we reflect to you both the picture and the testimony of those who gave testimony today. Then tomorrow, we give the one for today. So you better wait and have your copy. We listen to the next person now. Praise the Lord. The person standing by my side, his name is Sources Amadi. He has been having of psychiatric illness for three years and has been on the psychiatric drugs. But somebody brought him to this crusade today. After the prayer of the man of God, he regained himself. He could reason properly, adequately, unlike before he came. Praise the Lord. I'm fine. My name is Sose Samadhi. I'm a child of God, and I believe one day I'm going to be fine. You are fine. You are fine. Let's listen to live testimony now. Okay. Praise the Lord. There are many who receive their miracles. Tomorrow you will hear. Tomorrow you will see. We distribute the communicate now. Just take a copy. Don't take for anybody. Take one copy. Please let's make sure we give out. You have given them to them already. Okay. God bless you. We rise up to pray now to thank the Lord for the fall of the rains of miracle deliverances and all the things God has done. 